Yes, you are a donkey. I'll show you how to act a donkey. Everything that Charlemagne is saying is true. That video you just posted on Instagram, ain't no filter on it, right? My skin looks amazing. Drop on the clues, my, nah, my skin. Nah, for real. Come yeah. on, man. Your headphones Come look on, stupid, though. It don't matter. You're just a <laughs> hater. Donkey of the Day from Wednesday, April 17th. Go to the Miami Valley Career Technology Center in Clayton, Ohio. Salute to all the stations uh, that carry the Breakfast Club in Ohio. 106.7 to beat in Columbus. 102.3 to beat in Cincinnati. 94.9 to beat in Toledo. Real 106.1 in Cleveland. Drop on the clues, bomb for all of them. You are all appreciated. Uh, but I must say this story out of Clayton. Man, it really disappoints me. Sometimes I don't understand humans at all. This story is extremely sad because a high school student, uh, I think her name is Ali Guy, she is going to miss her senior prom, and you don't get another opportunity to have a senior prom. But it's the reason why she is missing the senior prom that makes this so sad. Let's go to WHIO TV 7 for the report, please. Student will miss out on prom after getting suspended over bringing a bag of corn chips with her to school. Mm. According to Miami Valley Career Technology Center, that is against school policy because a teacher is severely allergic to an ingredient in the snack. News Center 7's Taylor Robertson was in Montgomery County talking to the student's mother, who said she doesn't think the punishment fits the crime. Guy told me about a week ago. Ali had had tacky chips on the school bus. She was hungry. Somebody gave her some chips. She opened them on the school bus. She ate them. She had two chips left back in her bag. She got off the bus. She went to her locker. She ate the remainder of the two chips. She put the trash in a trash can. She went to her class. The school principal called her down to the office. And at that point, they asked her if she ate the chips. She said yes, and they suspended her for five days. Damn. Come on, man. Wow. A bag of damn corn chips. A bag of corn chips. You are prohibited from bringing this kind of snack to school because the teacher is severely allergic to this ingredients. Now, I would understand if this kid took the corn chips and individually took them out the bag and hid them all around the teacher's classroom. I can understand if, you know, she took some of the corn chips and put them, you know, uh, in her teacher's coat pocket or something. See, something like that would make sense to me if she was malicious with the chili cheese Fritos, if she was evil intentioned with the original corn chips. I would understand. But all she was doing... Uh, was eating her Taki chips. They were actually Taki. Taki chips. She was just eating her Taki chips on the school bus because someone gave them to her and she was hungry. She didn't even finish all the chips. She bought the bag in the building, but there were only two chips left. Mm. Now, I don't know anything about Taki chips, but I was told they're all a rave amongst the kids. Sydney, can you confirm this? Get the mic, Sydney. Sydney was in there just talking about, uh, I'm just, Sounded like a big bag. Just talking about how Jesus. she loved these, <laughs> how she loved these chips so much. Blue heat, <laughs> hot chili pepper, and non-spicy buck and ranch. Now and you're dragon dreaming. sweet chili. No Jesus, such thing. <laughs> what no else is about it? Listen, the kids just love them. Okay. I mean, they're not good for you. It was okay. all the thing on TikTok, just mm. about stomach ulcers and stuff like that, just because they eat them in the morning, afternoon, and night. And they're really hot, right? Yes. Okay. Well, Taki, let me make a chip, a uh, hot chip okay. called Satan's anus. What? Okay, because y'all don't even care about what y'all making anymore, and I don't blame you because people don't care about eating it. Why would you pay to eat things like Taki chips that make you sick? Anyway, this poor young girl walked into the school with just two chips left in the bag, and the fact she knew how much chips were left in the bag lets me know how stingy Taki must be. Okay, more air in the bag than chips. That's mm -hmm. what it seems like to me. But she walks into school with two chips left in the bag, and when she finished them, she threw the bag away, went to class. Here comes the principal calling her down to the office, asking her if she ate the chips. She said yes, and she's suspended for five days, and now she's missing senior prom. Dang. I, I understand rules are rules, mm. but how can any principal, any teacher hear this story and say this is worthy of a five-day suspension? I understand there's a food consumption at school law, but senior prom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Can you have a heart? I understand the teacher is allergic to corn chips and she has a severe life-threatening allergy, but did she die, though? Okay, I'm just saying, you can discipline the young lady, but does she have to get a five-day suspension that causes her to miss... The senior prom, Amber Guy, who was the young lady's mother, salute to Amber. Amber said she wasn't aware of any of these food consumption rules because her daughter's father signed the form and they separated. Now she's getting a lawyer to try to get the suspension appeal because the senior prom is a big deal for her daughter because she tried on 50 dresses before she found the right dress and Sheen don't have a great return policy. Damn. I made the last part about Sheen. Absolutely, she you did. did. <laughs> but she did try on 50 dresses. All I'm simply saying is the young lady made a mistake. She didn't lie about it. She said she ate them. Nobody died. Nobody had an allergic reaction. Can Ali Guy please go to her senior prom? Mm. Please give Miami Valley Career Technology Center the biggest hee-haw. Uh -huh. uh -huh.
What, what do you a, think? Am I is, tripping? What is the principal doing searching the garbage though? Yeah. Um I don't I, I don't think that you're tripping. No, you're I not tripping. um but when I reported this in just um with the worldwide mess a month ago, y'all laughed at me and I've been told y'all that Takis along with flaming hot Cheetos mm -hmm. were being stopped in schools because it does something to the kids. It messes them up, especially when they eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So yeah, I did report this, and you did you not reported this, this story right here. I no, not this story. Oh, but I reported that they are trying to ban them in schools and from bringing them to the the students for bringing them in schools. Mm. Yeah. But but the she markets are not going to stop selling them. But I they're, they're not allowed in schools, and they're about to be banned from all schools across the country. She wasn't oh. malicious though. Now if the yeah, teacher died, a, yeah, and the she teacher was malicious. A, yeah. Then yes, but she wasn't malicious. Yeah, she didn't do anything purposely to try to make this no. teacher sick because she knew the teacher had a reaction. No, absolutely yeah. no, no, no. I don't think that you're crazy. I just wanted to um, you could have used me as a source instead of bringing in Sydney. Who you called a big back I again? I did not call her a big back. Yes, you did. I said she was acting like one. Why? She don't even like Taki. She just know no, the kids like them. No, she was raving like about them in the, uh, in the office. Because she know how many flavors and yes, bags it was. she was naming flavors and everything. She goes to a bodega every day. <laughs> and she, you. oh my God, no. I mean, to get oh our my, food. Wow. To get, every oh my day, gosh. Um, that's crazy. Wow. No, I, I don't want to. I was trying to help again. But that's her saying help. you got big back behavior. What wow. I was saying. No. She goes to a bodega every day. No, when she goes to the Store She's in the room. Cindy's in the room. Y'all talking like she's not in the room. Cindy's here. So I don't want to so talk. Sorry, I, I, it's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Yes, indeed. Sorry, Sydney. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.